Hello, we are Team Thermal, and my name is Michael Fernandez. Master Reyes. Katrin Wong. Daniel Orozco. We are ESOS Active College Engineering and Technology students. We are currently enrolled in Professor Divinity's GE 101 course for the summer of 2014 session. We will be presenting our Sealing Engine final project. Okay, we start off right here with our external heat source. Uh, it's going to be placed right here at the bottom of our of our displacer cylinder. Inside of it, it's our displacer that's made out of dry foam. It's attached to a push rod. It's a music wire. In the in the top can, we have our water cooler. We come to the side. It's a PVC elbow with a balloon. That's our diaphragm. It's attached to a push rod. It's made out of copper wire. Our crankshaft is a steel. It's attached to a flywheel, and the flywheel has a dime to keep it balanced. The external heat increases the air pressure inside the displacer. Um, as the displacer moves up, the increased air pressure goes into the diaphragm, pushing the rod up. As the rod goes up, the displacer moves down. The cold air goes into the diaphragm, causing it to go down, and together it's a continuous cycle. And when it's running, I'll remove it from the fire. And because the temperature difference becomes smaller, which means the temperature becomes constant inside the displacer cylinder. So it will slow down. And right now, I will put it back on the fire. And because the, it heats up the displacer cylinder at the bottom, and the temperature difference will become thicker. And so it will speak up again.